Hello everyone. So today I am here to do another one of my testing weird and wonderful beauty products, which I've done before and you seem to like. So I thought I would do some stuff that I got sent in the post recently from Skin. Um, I've talked about them on my blog before. I've used some of their products. I like, um, I think they've got an eye makeup remover, which I've used, which I really enjoyed. Um, what else? Um, they had um, a sheet mask, I think it was, or something, I can't remember. I've tried quite a few of their products and I really like them, um, but I haven't tried either of these two products. So, I have the Skin Iceland, that's the brand, <laughs> um, Nordic Skin Peel with Alpha Beta Complex. So these are wipes and they are in this box, in this pot. and. Um, they are individual wipes, which is really good because you can, it's just easy to use, isn't it? I mean, rather than kind of having to put the product onto a cotton wool pad and everything like that, it's just annoying, isn't it? So this, they smell toxic, but um, quite nice. They almost smell a bit um, minty medicinal, a bit like going to the dentist. I love that smell. It's kind of quite powerful and zingy up the nose. So inside they have this foil cover. I never know whether to get rid of these foil covers or not because you shut it anyway. I often just keep them on. I do the same on like hummus and stuff like that as well. Anyway, so they're a bit like when you get those nail varnish remover pads and stuff. So that is one of the products. This is the other product I'm gonna use. The reason I'm quickly going to this because I'm gonna start using this first. Um, this is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. And I have three of these, um, so that's three single uses. I think that you can buy a packet which has, not a packet, like a pack that comes with eight sachets. Um, I'm not sure, I'll put the link down below because I can't remember how they come. But um, what it says is to remove backing and apply gel side to under eye area for up to 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on, then I'm gonna do this, and then I'll just take off the whole lot at the same time. After application, gently peel away um, a patch and dispose. Use once a week or whenever you need a quick fix. I think I may have seen Zoella using these when she went to New York on the aeroplane. Um, I've seen a lot of people talk about them as well. Uh, yeah, I quite like the concept. I'm, I'm a bit skeptical. I never know if they're gonna do anything, but they are meant to make your eyes less puffy, um, which is great. And I've just had a shower. I had a bit of mascara on. It's crumbling down, I'm not looking my freshest. So hopefully these will help. Okay. Oh, one's come off. Ooh, okay, so in there were two of these and they have a plastic backing. Plastic backing? They're stuck, they've got a backing. But which side do I put down? I'm guessing the bit that I open. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay, so you can see here, a bit like a banana. Um, right, ah! <gasps> that is super duper cooling. It's quite warm today as well. Oh, I didn't know I put that on right. Okay, there's one. My battery's flashing, how irritating. I might put these on and then charge it for a little bit and then come back to the other thing. How do I look? These are really cooling. I really like them. I feel a bit stupid, but you know what? Everyone does these now, don't they? So actually, People are even putting nice like beauty shots of them wearing these on Instagram. Anyway, they feel really, really refreshing. Like um, when you, when I was younger, I used to put spoons in the fridge and then put them on my face in the morning before exams. Yeah, <laughs> that was my first foray into beauty world. Yeah, I really like them. Um, anyway, they feel nice. They're not too wet or sticky. I've tried some in the past which are really, really wet and they just kind of ooze Goop, but these aren't at all. Um, yeah, I feel it pretty nice. Anyway, so now I'm going to move on to the Nordic Skin Peel and I'm going to wipe one all over my face and see if it stings at all. They're quite wet. Oh my god, they do sting. Oh my god, that is tingling. That is tingling quite a lot. 
I can't work out if I love the tingling feel or not because at least it feels like it's doing something. Oh, I keep looking up there, I'm so sorry. I keep looking at the playback so that I can see what I'm doing. But I'll look down at this mirror and then hopefully we'll see a bit better. I've got a little tiny zit here and here. So I feel like it's gonna sting them a lot. They say to use these three to five times a week for sensitive skin. So um, if you don't have sensitive skin, I guess you can do it a bit more. Um, oh, Okay, I have had a bit of makeup on, but I don't know if that's grime or makeup. Is that really disgusting? I'm gonna do a bit on my neck. Oh, I really like them. It is tingling a little bit, um, but it feels like it's doing its job, which is nice. I like them. So the thing that makes it an exfoliator as such is the, um, where was it? I did read about it. It had like papaya, which I've heard of quite a few brands now using papaya, which is the natural way to make an exfoliator. I did not realize. I actually hate the flavor of papaya. It tastes like fish. You might think I'm weird, but I've heard some other people say that too. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I can feel it tingling. Um, I'm guessing you have to wash it off. Um, yeah, it says lactic acid and alpha hydroxy, is that right? Acid and papaya ex extract, which exfoliate to reveal fresh skin. White willow bark, a beta hydroxy acid and a natural antibacterial help to keep the pores squeaky clean. Well, I would say I feel kind of like you've done an acid peel, but not too painful, just a little bit tingly. I like them. My battery died. I am back. I've given it like four or five minutes just so I can quickly finish this off because these have been on for 10 minutes now. And um, I wanted to just show you when I take them off, see what they're like. Doesn't hurt at all. Feels good. It feels tightened. I don't know if I'm just giving in to the hype, but it feels good. I like it and it's not left it wet and sticky. It just feels kind of tight. I like that it did feel like a bit tingly. It's really good. So it feels like it was doing something. Um, yeah, really like all the products. So let me know if you've used them as well um, and comment down below what you think and tell me what I should review next. Are there any weird and wonderful products you think I should review? Um, and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you all soon. Bye.